Hey guys, Oni here with episode 12 of our Ditech Factorio Let's Play. Season 3! Alright, uh, so I feel like an idiot again. Uh, and that's because, well, let's take that back. I mean, I do feel like an idiot, kind of. But I'm going to blame it on the fact that I recorded the last couple episodes while I was like 3 in the morning and I was dead tired and I couldn't sleep. I'm not sure why I chose to do that, but I did. And they can't go back now and change it, so, uh, yeah. Basically, last time when I was talking about how I think these ratios are correct, you know, I was going back and forth. Well, it turns out I wasn't 100% correct. Uh, basically, um, I totally neglected or ignored or didn't even acknowledge the fact that um, different items take different amounts of time to craft. You know, this red circuit takes eight seconds. Even slower because it's only crafting at a, point, a, a speed of 0.75. Normal speed is one. So, you know, I didn't take into account the crafting speed of items. So... I may or may not have way too many extra copper cables and too many electronic circuits, but for right now, I'm not going to touch this for right now. Because um, right now we need to get blue science as soon as possible. And uh, I did some research, and during my research I found uh, a couple couple guys suggested that I, I start using this tool called uh, Factor Ratio. It's just it's a tool that lets you display um, which ratios or which ratio is required for different levels of production of different items? You just pop in what item, what item you want to make, how many you want to make a minute, and it spits out all the necessary ratios that are going to be required to accomplish that goal. Um, but the first thing I need to do is that I need to uh, make some more room because I've done some experiments uh, off camera and trying to fit this little fit. Uh, you know what I need to do in this in space in the space here in the space here in the space here it just doesn't fit. And uh, I realized that we've so far have done a very compact design, um, but for this we need to expand out this way. And we're going to do that using these fancy sand walls we've been making so far. Got plenty of sand walls in here. Let's take a couple stacks. That should be good. Yeah, let's, we have how many turrets? We have 22 turrets. We're going to need those as well because we're going to need to expand the defenses. So, uh, but yeah, so we are going to. Uh, well, I'm going to just. Uh, I'm just going to explain this while I'm uh, expanding the walls. So basically, I have 10 labs, right? And for the sake of argument, for the, for the sake of, of, of you know my factory, and just for the sake of this discussion and this explanation, let's go ahead and pretend, or you can't, I mean, you guys don't have to pretend. I mean, on average, or at least so far, the average amount of time it takes to research something is 30 seconds. So you need like X of science pack one, X of science pack two, and then 30 seconds of time goes by and you do one little research tick on the little bar up here. And I have 10 labs going, right? So let's say the average amount of time it takes to research something is 30 seconds. I know some are 60, which actually works out better for me. It actually makes it so it's more efficient when it's longer. But in the case of 30 seconds, I have 10 labs going. And if I want to keep up with 10 labs going, where, e where the research takes 30 seconds each, I need to craft at least one blue science pack every three seconds. So that, you know, once the first blue science pack gets to the first lab, and then it starts, you know, the cycle, that by the time the, whoops, that's not far enough. By the time the uh, last blue science pack gets to the last lab, the first lab is now just finishing, and then we'll take the next uh, science pack, and then the cycle will start over again. So that way, with that level of uh, production, you keep up with the amount of labs you have. So that would mean that I would need to be making around 20 uh, units or 20 blue science packs per minute if I want to have one blue science pack every three seconds on average because you know that's 20 science that's because that, that means that i need three per second which turns out to be uh, you know 20 per minute and 20 per minute is three per second so yeah oops that's uh broken so basically if you want to figure it out yourself if you have you know if you have X amount of labs, you know, I'm, I, I'm going to keep using 30 seconds, you know, from now on and into the future, I'm going to use a baseline of 30 seconds for research. And I'm going to say, okay, I have, you know, 20 labs and to keep, to keep up with 20 labs, I need once every 30 divided by 20. So, and then you can use that, you know, you get X amount every second times 60 seconds, which gives you your production per minute. And then you can just plug that into the little calculator tool, which I'll post a link to in the description of this video. I'll post a link to this little ratio tool and it'll spit out the ratios for all these uh, intermediate items and how many of each one you need, depending on which type of uh, assembly machine you're using. It's actually really neat. All right, let's go ahead and set up some defenses uh, because I'm not going to get caught with my pants down again. Um, I mean, I'm kind of just arbitrarily plopping these down. Some of them aren't really even. 
I just don't want to have a situation where I get rushed at one section and then, you know, that section doesn't have any turrets in it. Need some more. Need some more. Now, of course, with my luck, they would probably attack right now when I'm not ready. Uh, I can probably steal these guys. And I'll steal these guys too. All right. But yeah, so my goal today is to uh, get an output of about 20 blue science packs per minute. And we're going to do that. Uh, we're not going to, you know, add on production for the circuits and all the other. Inter for, for, we are because I'm going to go off the with the with the, with the presumption. And I know that it's wrong to presume, but I already have plenty of batteries stored up and I already have plenty of steel stored up over here. Where is it? There it is. And then I already have three of these uh, machines here going making red. Now, I already did this calculation earlier in this little calculator here, and I'm only one lab or one assembly machine short for red. I'm not going to add the red right now. Later on, I'll add more red production, red circuit production. But for right now, the, my buffer storage should be enough to keep me going for a little while. So we have enough of everything else except for we're going to go off the fact that we ha we're going to go off the assumption that we have enough of everything else except for the smart the smart inserters, which we're going to go through and make right now after we're done with these defenses. So we're going to put some laser turrets right here just to make sure that they don't rush the corners here or the little the spots where the wall meets the lake. And now we need to place down a bunch of power poles. So, and my inventory sucks ass too. I got too much crap. It's mostly because of the fact that a damaged item is considered a unique item and doesn't stack with any other item. I guess it might stack if it has the same exact damage value as another item in your inventory, but as another of the same item in your inventory, but uh, I haven't been so for I haven't been fortunate enough to have that happen. I'm just constantly stuck with a full inventory, basically. But we're gonna get robots pretty soon here because off camera I I finished the research for the first levels of the uh, robots for construction and logistics. I can't get the, I can't get the next ones because uh, I need blue science packs. But I will go ahead and get uh, the character slots and what else can I get? Whatever else is next. Uh, I, can knock, I can knock these guys down. Okay. All right. So. If I plug in 20... Now. Um, sorry. One more thing. <laughs> is that, like I said earlier, I already did the calculation for 20 blue science packs per minute, which turns out to be exactly 20 uh, smart inserts per minute. So I'm going to plug in 20 smart inserts per minute, and it's going to spit out. Uh, the ratio of you of what we need. So we need um, one level two assembly machine that makes fast inserters. Because actually, it says 0.79, but you can't have you can't have 79 or 0.79 of a, of a assembly machine. So kind of have to go with the uh, rounding up. Oops, I already had those, don't I? Yeah, I have 17. What did I make one for? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this guy. Um, uh, now, nah, cosmetically, where do I want to put it to make it look nice? Uh, right there. Boom. Let's make a choice. You're making nothing but fast inserters. Okay. No. Scratch that. I want it to go this way. Like, the production chain goes kind of like this. And then it gets to the blue science packs over here. So, let's just go like this. And you make nothing but fast inserters. And then I need five level one assembly machines. Which if I, ch and I and you can ch and uh, if you look at this yourself, you can see you can change the type of machine you're going to be using to level twos, level ones, and so on and so forth. Uh, but it doesn't actually seem like the value is changing. All right, that, that might be a little bit of a bug because if, if I change, this, you can't see it on the screen, so I got to narrate. <laughs> Basically, what's happening is I'm changing the value of the factory I'm using, or the assembler, to a level 2, and it's not changing the value of the count that I need. Which could be on purpose, or it could be by accident. Uh, reset. Smart inserter. Whatever. We're fine. So, 5 level 1s. Um... Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, well, hang on. So I need fast inserters and I need regular inserters, which I need another one of, but it's going to be level two. Oops. 
So, I mean, I could do direct insertion here, but we'll try it this way first. All right. So then I need uh, one making iron gear wheels. Oh, I need, let's do the, let's do the five making the uh, circuits right here. So one, two, three, four, five. You guys are all making circuits. Okay. And then I need, uh, what does it say? It says I need seven level twos. Holy crap. Seven level twos making nothing but uh, copper cables. Now, I, I, I can do it like this, or I can do it below it. Um, let's do it below it, because I need I need some room over here for the actual blue science pack uh, production themselves. So, um, and if I wanted to go this way, why did I... Yeah, that's weird. Why did I put it over here if I wanted to go this way? Let's swap these real quick. I'm just all over the place today. So it was a level uh, two for the smart or the fast, and a level one for the regular, right? No. Yes. Nope, level two for both. So you are regular. Sorry about this. I'm, I, mean, I'm, I know I'm all over the place, guys. Just bear with me here. All right. So now we need seven, like I said, for the copper cables, and we're going to do the style I used to do, which is having a gap of two, because I'm not sure if, let's see, if I want to reuse the same line, then I'm going to have to do this way, because I need the circuits to go this way. Hmm. Yeah, this will work. All right. Should work. If it doesn't, we can always change it. All right, so seven. These guys are all making nothing but copper cables. And this is the point where I wish I had the better uh, Dietetic recipes to let me uh, make 15 at a time. All right, so now we finally need iron gear wheels. We just need one, because those are made pretty fast. Um, we're gonna put it, uh, let's see, who needs those? You need those, okay. So we're going to go ahead and put that uh, on this end instead. So level one. Making iron gear wheels. And then we're going to put this back over here. Whoops. Okay. So, this is the setup. And then we're going to have, finally, a level one machine at the end. Making the smart inserters. Like that. And technically that should work. Only question is uh, whether or not my conveyor belts will be have enough room to support all these different materials. I mean, we already have more than one, two, three, four, five. We have six different materials, so obviously we're going to have to do some finagling. I mean, obviously the copper is going to come in on the bottom. That saves one spot. The iron is going to come in on the top, which kind of messes this up. So let's move this up here then because it makes sense. If the iron is going to be up here, then the, all the iron users are going to be up here, which means we can then... We, don't need to, we, we can leave that there. Okay, so let's go get our copper and iron. So let's also real quick make a chest that we're going to convert later on to a storage for logistics. But right now it's just going to be for, you know, junk. Uh, we'll put it uh, right there, whatever. And we'll change it later if we need to. Uh, you can take all that. I'll keep one. You take all that. I'll keep one. Uh, you take all this junk that's damaged. And I'll keep the re and keep the corpses. Uh, iron axe sucks. And everything else I'll keep for right now. Okay. So, the main bus for iron, like I said before, we rejoined it, so it's over here now. Um, I have to get it over here. So I can, I can sort of split it over here then, right? Uh, yeah, that could work. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna have to use some uh, red and underground belts to get this length that I want, but it'll work. Let's make a couple. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get a splitter. We already have one. Sweet. We're going to split it uh, right here. And you should still be able to grab... Oops, that's not going to work. Sorry. Nope. My bad. Totally didn't notice that there was actually something right there. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Can't split there because it's already being used. This is one of the problems of having a compact base that so you can't do anything. <laughs> Uh, the main bus is up here, though, so I technically split it up here and just go over here and then go down. That seems kind of silly, though. Um, put 
Please hold. Uh, just trying to go through in my mind what we're going to be doing. Uh, give me one second, guys. All right, guys. So hang on real quick. Let's just get some more research going. Um, we can get the upgraded tanks. Why not? All right. So what I decided to do was... Um, Basically, because of the fact that the main bus of the iron doesn't actually go anywhere after this point, it just splits off. I can technically I can technically consider this part still the main bus. So I can split it off right here, and then come over and up, and then over. And then what I did right here was I did a little loop around where you make it to where um, you uh, basically force it to be on one side of the belt. Is it gonna be okay? Yep. And then uh, I just swap the inserters, push the inserter position again. So that it made more sense. It made more sense. So, um, and what I actually might want to do is, uh, you require that, you require that. Just to, just to save some room on the belt, I'll go ahead and do direct insertion here. So, it's going to be a blank spot, which is going to look kind of weird with all the rest of the non-blank spots. And then that, you're making smart inserters, you're making fast inserters. All right. And I could probably do that for, for some of these other ones too. But, uh, because I don't have an equal number of assembly machines making copper cables as I do making circuits. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So now we need copper. So uh, we're going to come over here. Whoops. We're going to come over here, hit the camera there, or hit the uh, microphone, I think. hope you didn't hear that. Uh, the main bus of copper is right here. And it's actually a little, little bit more neat or neater. And uh, we can more easily split off and come over here and get it to where we need to go. So uh, let's go ahead and split off a line of copper. Let's grab a, a splitter. And apparently it's something really bad's going on outside. A lot of sirens. All right. So we're going to split off um, right there. It's kind of arbitrary. It doesn't really matter. Let's grab some more belts and iron because we always need more of those. And I'm not going to sit here and make, you know, hundreds of belts. and make you guys sit, sit through all that again. So we're going to come over to, to the left. And then let's see if I can use a... Excuse me. Let's see if I can use a regular... Um, yeah, I can. Well, kind of. That's fine. And then keep going. And apparently the fire truck's coming right to my apartment. There's no fire here. Or it's probably probably an ambulance. Uh, let's see. And we're going to come up right right there just to make sure, make it look a little bit more neat, neater. And then uh, we're going to go up. Actually, do we want to just go right here? And sort of use this? No. We don't. We want to use this as our... Alright, so I want to have a line here going to the right, I'm thinking. It goes all the way over here to the smart inserter. Which means I'm going to have to move this guy. And then break this guy. And this guy. Because if I do this, right? Let's see, because... Because I'm, I'm trying to reuse the same conveyor belts more than once, you know. Just, you know, be, be a little more efficient. So, what's going to happen here is that... Well, yeah, that's, that's not going to work anyway. Because I got way too many products coming out. So, it doesn't really matter. Um, what does matter is... Making sure that... My... Copper cables... Don't go any further. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. Like earlier when I said I wanted to have, I might wanted to, wanted, I might have wanted to have uh, two lines in between this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to make it look. I mean, because it looks nicer to me. I know it might not be efficient. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need seven. I think was it seven? Check the numbers real quick. It is seven. All right. Basically, because um, if I do that right there, right, and I have the output going to the right, it's not gonna work anyway. So, instead, I will uh, do like this again, where the uh, circuits will come out and then go to the left where they're needed. And the copper cables, on the other hand, will go to this line here, and they'll stop right here. Because that way I don't have to use any sort of smart inserter, you know, finagling to make sure that no copper cables get past this point, or no circuits get past this point, you know, so on and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and get our copper. 
Uh, we just was we'll turn up, and then turn to the left. Whoops! No, 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 no. Whoops. That's gonna be for the copper cable. It's not the copper itself. Copper's gonna be. Am I already here? Am I already, I'm already in the right spot. All right. Oops. Okay. Again, I'm all I'm all, I'm all over the place. Just just follow me here. <laughs> okay. This is also gonna be. I'm gonna have to move this guy back to here because it doesn't make sense to put him right here when the line stops right there. So there we go. And then let me break these guys. Okay. All right. So now, finally, we can start positioning our inserters. Okay. And then this guy right here. Uh, nope. Yeah, that was that needed that needed to be there. All right. So, whoops. Export. 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 Whoops. Okay. And now we need. Uh, let me just go steal some more inserters so I can use those to make the the uh, long inserters and the ones we're gonna need, because uh, just save some time, you know. So I'm making inserters over here. I thought, uh, where are they at again? Zoom out. Uh, they are right there. Duh. Let me just steal a bunch of these. They are mine after all. Okay, and yeah, we, we can steal some more conveyor belts. Why not? Okay. So we're gonna need a, uh, let's see, how many long inserters? We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five. That's the right number, right? Five, yeah, five, five long inserters. So we can just right click that. And you're gonna be inserting from the copper cable line. Whoops, that's not inserting, that's exporting. Okay, and then we can use the inserters for this guy over here. And you, do you need iron? Yes, you need iron as well. So we're gonna do iron on the right side of the assembler so we have room for a power pole and another inserter and then you guys all need iron as well don't you you don't so you don't count so but I'll go ahead and uh, extend this line here it doesn't hurt because I'm gonna share the line for uh... actually no I'm not yes I am <laughs> oh, I should have planned this better uh, <laughs> so copper cables are gonna be going on uh, Let's see, so electron circuits will be going on this line, so we're gonna export them like this. Okay, and then iron gear wheels will have to be put on this line here. All right, so we got iron gear wheels going to the left here, right? Circuits going on this line. So really the only thing on this line is gonna be iron gear wheels, so it seems kinda like a waste, doesn't it? Because the only thing these guys need iron gear wheels. This is the only guy that needs iron gear wheels. So. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Um, since you're the only guy who needs iron gear wheels. I'm going to do this. Yoink. Take you, take you, take you. And we're going to put this guy right. Hmm, that's not going to work either. Will that work? Can this work? How far can you reach? Is it like a super long inserter? Can I grab from you? No, I cannot. I can do that. But he also needs iron. Which I can still make that work. Let me see. If I grab an underground belt. I bet you, I bet you that this is like the worst way to do it. <laughs> like people are while you're watching this like, what the hell is he doing? Um, I go like this, right? He still needs iron. So uh, if we go... Uh, right now the question is can I grab iron from this right here if I give you power for a test can you grab it yes you can I keep forgetting you can do, you can totally do that sweet that means I can do this boom and then he will give iron gear wheels to this guy sweet and he's the only one that needs iron gear wheels now let me just triple check because I know that I, I, I will be the person to miss this miss something like that so you're making iron gear wheels and you're inserting just right here. Why not? Doesn't make doesn't matter really. Okay, 
So let's let's do an inserter here to here for the direct direct insertion, and then you, you need an insert for electronic circuits, which will be also on this line. So I can just do, but you also need iron as well. So you need everything. So uh, I mean, one could handle it, but in the fast inserter, I could probably do both. So let's do a fast inserter, so we can always keep up with this. Grab these circuits from this line and the, the iron gables from here and the iron plates on this line. So uh, you also need circuits, which will be grabbed from this line, iron plates on this line. So let's make you a fast inserter as well. And then you just need circuits, which will be from this line. So you just need a regular one. Okay. And finally, we can reverse this entire line here. Okay. And then we have to export the smart inserter. So just like this. And this should, by itself, according to this little graph we have here, be 20 smart inserters per minute. So we're going to have to do, I mean, now that comes the point of trying to make it look pretty. <laughs> Was that necessary there? No. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't make it look pretty. Uh... Whatever. I mean, at least it's symmetric, right? Okay. So, hook up these guys down here. Uh, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Everybody's working, right? Everybody's working? All right. You're working? You're just waiting for the circuits? This should be enough of everything. Yeah, this should be this should be enough of everything. Why is it? Why does it feel like it's not enough? Just because it takes a while for the buffer to get going. Yeah, that's enough. You're good. Uh, let's see. Fast inserters are input using fast inserters. Smart inserters are input using smart. Why? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do fast inserters. So fast inserter. Let's do fast inserters for everybody. At least for the actual important parts, right? So output is going to use... Let's also change these guys, because I just read on this little thing here. I, I didn't read the output part, so... Let's uh, so change these. I mean, this, might, this is going to back up the line pretty fast. But uh, let's do a couple smart inserters. And the only thing I'm worried about is how slow the long inserters are. Long-headed inserters import at 72 units a minute. And these electronic circuits need an input speed of... Four items a second. Just looking for that little tooltip there. All right. So, might need to add a couple more of these long-handed inserters just so we can double them up, you know? So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's double them up. Just, just, for, just, for, just, for, my, just for, my, for my sake, you know? I mean, it might not be necessary, but for my sake, it makes me feel better. So there you go. So now I have, let's see, it just said that this long inserter was uh, 72 items a minute. Now I got 100 and 144. Which is more than enough now. So we're good. So this is finished off by doing more. Just doing the rest of the fast inserters here. And now we should be rocking and rolling. All right. Yep, rocking and rolling. Okay. So now. I know it's close to the wrapping up point. We're, we're going to finish this before we wrap it up. Blue science packs are made with uh, the... If I, if I go over here, because I, I remember I said 20 a minute is going to be ex approximately... Uh, let's see. Science pack 3. I want 20 a minute. I'm going to need 7 factories going for this. And that's going to that's gonna be just enough to support all of my uh, labs that I have, which is a total of 10. So, we need... 
Yeah, seven. No, wait, three. Four. Yes, four. <laughs> oh, man, I am all over the place, guys. Jeez. Four, because it's 3.2. I was reading the wrong category. I was reading the wrong column. I'm trying to glance over and come back over here fast enough to where it doesn't seem like I'm sitting here doing nothing on ca on camera. Uh, three point two assembly machine level threes. No, I was right the first time because if I change it to level two, it's five point three. So yes, yeah, six. Jeez, man, I am all over the place. Please don't hate me. All right. So five point three assembly uh, machine level twos, assembly machine level twos, to get this to. to 20 units a minute because it's 5.3 can you can't you can't have a third of a machine so uh, we want to put this um, one two three four five six blue science okay and I can just do the smart inserters over here Okay, and now they need advanced circuits, batteries, and steel. So, steel, I can steal from the... <laughs> get it? Uh, steel, I can steal from the chest over here. Um, do we have a steel bus? Yeah, we do, kind of, right here. So, we can just st steal... I keep saying that. <laughs> steal the steel. You can steal the steel. Like, once again, because of the fact that this bus just ends up turning, instead of, you know, splitting... Like the like the normal way the term works, um, we can just treat this treat this now as the main bus, because it is, and we will go ahead and um, split it to see where is this at? About right here ish. So if I come up one more one earlier, right? Just trying to make sure I save my space later on down the road, uh, or save some space in terms of you know. Not having to do so many turns. And we make another splitter. Do we have one? No, we don't. Let's make one. Okay, so we're going to split right here. And everybody's complaining because our laser turrets are attacking. And we are going to use red underground belts most likely because of the fact that there's so much space in between this guy. And actually, that might not even work in the first place because... Yeah, that might not work. Yeah, I'm gonna need, need to split uh, earlier or later. One or the other. All right, guys, tell you what. We're gonna wrap it up here. I know I said I was gonna finish this episode, but I don't wanna go too long and then have everybody just stop watching, you know? Um, so, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. And uh, the beginning of next episode, we will finish this, I promise. I know it was slow going today and we're all over the place. I think it's the uh, post holiday. Uh, idiocy, if you will. <laughs> so yeah, my name's Oni. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.